Welcome to Evening Prayers for Saturday the 12th of September, reflecting on God's glory. Let us pray. Glory to God in the highest, and praise from all his people on earth. Lord, we delight in giving all honour and praise to you, the true and living God. Endless is your mercy, and eternal is your reign. Lord, we thank you that we can pause before you in these moments to listen for your voice, to reflect upon your word, and to offer ourselves afresh to you before we take our rest. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever, world without end. Amen. We turn to the words of the psalmist David. Psalm 145 is a psalm of praise in which David, reflecting on his journey of life and faith, brings his praise to God in these words. I will exalt you, my God, the King. I will praise your name forever and ever. Every day I will praise you and extol your glorious name. Great is the Lord, and most worthy of praise. His greatness no one can fathom. One generation will commend your works to another. They will tell of all your mighty acts. They will speak of the glorious splendour of your majesty. And I will meditate on your works. They will tell of the power of your awesome works. And I will proclaim your great deeds. They will celebrate your abundant goodness and joyfully sing of your righteousness. The Lord is gracious and compassionate, slow to anger and rich in love. The Lord is good to all. He has compassion on all he has made. All you have made will praise you, O Lord. Your saints will extol you. They will tell of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might, so that all may know of your mighty acts and the glorious splendour of your kingdom. Your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and your dominion endures through all generations. David spoke of the wonder of the kingdom of God, a kingdom which he hoped and prayed for. Jesus came and lived the kingdom in his very essence, breathing it with his every breath, speaking it with his every word, living it out with his every deed of loving kindness, grace and healing. And we are called by the Spirit to bring to bear the kingdom of God, which is in us and among us and around us. The evidence of the kingdom is seen in works of loving kindness, in our prayerfulness, in the offer of sharing God's love with all. We have a wonderful gift of the glory of God to share with others. So it is that the gift which we have in our hearts and lives, we are called to share on behalf of the God who is all glorious, the God who calls us his own, who includes everyone in his feast of life. We have a message to share of the wonderful glory of God and we sing of it now in that wonderful hymn, Thine Be the Glory.
glory and honour belong to you, the true and living God. In Jesus Christ, we see your perfect glory displayed in his loving, caring and healing. And we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten Son of the Father, full of grace and truth. So let us pray together for the world God loves so much. For those who lavish affection on things that can never fully satisfy. Lord, come to them with your grace and hope, and may your glory fill the earth. For those who have become disillusioned with worldly values and have not yet discovered where true value lies, the true value of your kingdom in love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness and self-control. Lord God, fill the hearts of all people with such godly values that your glory may fill the earth. We pray for a misguided world which reckons human worth in terms of earning potential and parades greed as enterprise. Lord, we pray for your world, a world reeling because of economic disaster through the pandemic. As we look to a new future, help us to look forward with the things of your kingdom and your ways in mind, of justice, wholeness, peace, and all included in your feast of life, no matter whom, that your glory may fill the earth. And in a moment of quietness, let us bring to God the prayers of our hearts this evening. Glorious in majesty, holy and almighty, we worship you, our Lord and God, through time and through all eternity, offering you our prayers in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Saviour, and in the power of the Spirit, through whom we say together, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. So may the goodness of the Father, the grace of Christ the Son, and the guidance of the Holy Spirit, the glory of the three in one, be with us, with those for whom we have prayed, and with all God's people, now and always. Amen.